Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. He has a lot of testimonies, but I think we can do it. About the victim. He was another one of those pesky young types wearing a broken pair of spectacles. He had a newspaper in his right hand, and the noisy brat kept rustling its pages. Ooh, 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 the young man was listening to the wireless. I remember that well. Then the serving girl in question brought over the Javachino. The little fidget picked up the cop with his free hand and took a sip. Here's your coffee. <laughs> That's probably what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Marty is summarizing every case. Oh, summarize Rise from the Ashes with just sound effects. Oh, Rise from the Ashes? Wait, which one was that again? That, that was the... Oh, that's with Gant. Okay, <laughs> Gant comes in. Because <laughs> 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 he, he likes to swim. <laughs> uh, the, uh, oh, was that me? Uh, no? Oh, okay. Du, du, du. <laughs> Like that, like because he got caught. Surprised <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> the testimony we've just heard was to test how credible the witness's memory is. <laughs> I am so good at memory, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me like he remembers the victim in a great deal of detail. Which is why. I oh like yes, that. I hate those you know what types who are so vague about everything. How are we going to handle this, Nick? We only need to do one thing. We just need to prove that the old man's memory is shot. Just trip him up, you mean? Isn't that kind of cruel? I suppose, but it's what I do best. <laughs> You're great at tripping people up. <laughs> About the victim. He was another one of those pesky young types. Wait, Hold don't, it! Don't ruin your voice, bro. Okay. <laughs> Spectacles? <laughs> Dark glasses to you! One of the lenses was green, but the other was broken. Newfangled rubbish! That's why I remember him so well. Why does he look like he hopped out of Star Wars? Glen Elg? Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars Episode 9, new main <laughs> character, Glen Elg. He's like, Psh. <laughs> No, he, it's like a cross between, like, Sailor Mercury from Sailor Moon. She has, like, this weird, like, half. I, I figure. <laughs> no, she has this weird half, like, blue thing that's like, oh, I found, like. She's kind of like the slippy toad of Sailor Moon. <laughs> Like, where it's like, all the Star Fox guys have that. Do they all have that? But, At but least in all, assault. They're all like space animals fighting <laughs> evil, though. Yes, that is true. <laughs> yeah. He did what? have some kind of lens over his left eye, but I wouldn't have called it a pair of glasses. I wonder why. Hmm, he seems to have been work wearing some rather modern looking shades. Perhaps I should take to wearing some and rival Mr. Godot's sharp appearance. Ah! We better come up with something sharp and quick! Guess I'll wait and see if I should challenge him about the spectacles. I'm wondering what they, their use was for. Like, is it like computer programming glasses where they're like tinted so then the computer isn't as glared? Is it because I think it's like of half eyesight? of an Oculus Rift or something, so like there's a screen on it that you can get. I don't so know. So that's what I'm wondering. Is it like he's trying to like <laughs> this would be insane. Is it like, okay, I've got my lottery ticket, I know what number it is, and he's like hacking the system to try and get the right lottery. <laughs> Number. I mean, he is a programmer, so that's not completely out sure. of the question. Sure, I'm just but... trying to figure out, like, what is the use of this? Is it like, oh, I just have one really bad eye? So it would be like, instead no, of wearing no, one it's contact... No, no, it's for work. It's for work. Okay. Maybe I do know that like, much. Computer I don't know. Yeah. hacker. I don't know. Yeah, newspaper's right hand, the noisy brat kept wrestling the pages. Eh. <laughs> wrestling the pages. Wrestling. <laughs> Bear wrestling. Wrestling dazzle. The newspaper was a sports paper, was it? That young hooligan! I nearly asked him, can't you even read without fidgeting? Hmm? How was I supposed to be able to read the back page with all that rustling going on? I needed it to find out if Guts and Braun retained his championship title! <laughs> it was his paper, not yours! If you wanted to know so bad, why didn't you buy your own? What are you looking at me like that for, hmm? How dare you judge me! Ow! Ow! Guts and Braun got beaten yesterday, by the way. Anyway... <laughs> The young man was listening to the wireless. I remember that well. <laughs> Bluetooth. The wireless? The decadent young rascal! In my day, it was one or the other. Read the paper or listen to the wireless! Oh boy. 
and using an earpiece, it's selfish, that's what it is. What? I was straining my ears, but I couldn't catch any of it. Uh... Is he? he is, eavesdropping. He's literally the only person in the world that I know who's like, I wish he would play his music and radio out loud for everyone to hear it in the public playing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Was he that desperate to listen to the radio? Maybe he. What are you looking at me like that for, him? Huh? How dare you feel sorry for me? Ow! Ow! <laughs> Maybe he bought a lottery ticket and was hiding it in his like job listings, and then he was trying to listen. Ooh, intrigue. Uh, oh, serving girl serving brought him girl. to Jabachino. <laughs> you mean the waitress who you only saw from behind, right? You're one of those, are you? You never let anything go, isn't that right? Maybe. What does it matter if I saw her from the front or from behind? My eyes don't lie! Ow! Ow! I better not push it until I've got some hard evidence. <laughs> Little Fidget picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. His free hand? Yes. Which hand was that? Weren't you listening before, Cloth Ears? I said he was rustling the newspaper with his right hand, didn't I? If his free hand wasn't his right hand, then which hand was it, you moron? Ow! Ow! Ha. Perhaps the great Mr. Trite has free hands. Yeesh! I was only asking. No need to gain up so on me his, and treat me like a freak. his left hand was free? So he... So his he, left hand was free? Mm-hmm. So he was using his right hand for the paper, and then he was drinking from his left hand. Wait, so that means he would have had to be like... No. Yeah. His cup could his have left... been to his left. No, but what I'm saying is to grab the cup, or to pick it up from the gal, he'd have to be like this. Glenn Watch Elg was sitting in a chair with the aisle where the waitress was on his left side. Oh, I thought it was the... Uh, yep, you're right, you're right. I was like, I might have found something. The whole point of this cross-examination is just to establish one thing. That this old guy's memory has more holes than a slice of Swiss. I guess we just need to find a contradiction in his testimony somewhere, huh? Anything will do. Even the smallest detail. We just need to one mistake and he's ours. Okay, so. Do you see anything? So, he was wearing it's a broken pair of spectacles. Had a newspaper yep. in his right hand. He was kept rustling the pages. He was listening to a wireless, yep. I remember that well. Serving girl brought yep. him over to Javachino. He picked up the cup with his free hand and took a sip. Okay, it's probably that one. Okay. Um... So he had the paper, he had the wireless okay. radio. Wasn't he using both? Well, here, so let's like, look at the crime like photo. like he's holding the radio? Okay, so he's like crumpled over the newspaper. Okay. And I think the coffee cup was there as well, because, like, he died while he was, like, drinking it, basically. So it spilled everywhere. Uh, so, yeah, the, the the coffee cup would have been to his left, is what Kudo is saying. But it's not there. It's on his right. Well, the, the, he's, Actually, he's crumpled over it. We can't tell. I can't see. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, it's not a great photo. No, it's fine. So that's the coffee cup in question. Mm -hmm. It's got the flowers, the rim, or the... If that's the case, I'm surprised there's no coffee on, like, the paper that he was reading. There probably was. Oh, no, there wasn't! There wasn't! That's what I'm saying! Plot hole. Plot hole! <laughs> um, Very strange, actually. Yeah. I don't know if that's, like, a huge thing. If it's like, there you go. Or if that's, like, just a weird plot hole thing. No, um, that is literally just a plot hole. I've okay. never even thought of that before. Next one. Okay. Um, no, it's not the apron again. It's the not lottery the lottery ticket. ticket. The cyanide. Mm, okay. Uh... And then the prescription bag. Oh, yeah. His prescription. His ear cream. <sighs> Wait! When did he put on his ear cream? Up. Uh, while he was there. Which ear Before. was it for? Uh, let's check. Oh, it doesn't say? Because really? if, it's, if it's for one ear, it could be like, here's your coffee. Oh, hang on, hang on. Here. No, it's not even in the autopsy report. That's, That's dumb. bogus. I don't remember. <laughs> I actually don't either. Um, I want to say it was his left ear? Because I'm wondering if that would have something to do with, like, why, I don't know. Like, the, maybe he didn't hear the waitress, and so then... He took it, like, with the other hand or something. Mm, you want to try that? Sure. Let's just try presenting it. 
Well, not my face profile. Nope, sorry. Okay, um, I don't know. Oh, just the coffee cup? Yeah. Is it because there's no stains on it? Mr. Kudo, do you remember what, what you were told at the start of this testimony? That this was a way of testing the credibility of your memory? I know, I know! There's nothing wrong with my memory, I tell you! Nothing! If I got anything wrong, I'll eat these seeds and sing the pigeon song! Do it! <laughs> Care to tell us where this is going, Trite? According to Mr. Kudo, the victim was holding the paper in his right hand. While drinking coffee with his free hand, which would make that his left. Right. Ka! What is this? Kindergarten! But I would like the court to please take a look at this. That's the cup the victim used, correct? Yes, and on the rim, you'll notice the mark left by the victim's lips. Oh, yeah, you'd have to hold it like this. Blech. And no one does that. Yes, there is a stain left by the coffee. If you consider where that stain is, you'll clearly see that the victim was holding the cup in his right hand. But how? The only other option would be if they, he was drinking it like the underside, like when you're trying to get rid of hiccups, and it's like, Ugh. You know how you <laughs> yeah. try and do that, and then you spill water all over you, and you're like, how do I don't do that do second this? part, though. I do Well, that. Mr. Kudo, the court is waiting for your epic performance. Of the pigeon song! You said you eat those seats and sing the pigeon song! Ah! That, that, is that, that should be a Nintendo Power, <laughs> like, a photo screenshot. Mr. Kudo, I'm afraid this is simply not acceptable. Yeah, you didn't do the pigeon song. I think the witness had better go to the park where he came from. WAIT! What? If you think I'm going to stand here and listen to you tell me I'm mad, you're wrong! I don't care about that dirty coffee cup! I know what I saw! Uh... You, you still insist on your testimony? The young brat was holding the cup in his left hand. Oh yes! No question! I'm a good law-abiding citizen, I am! Second idea here, and it's the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> Mirrors. <laughs> Just hear me out. <laughs> Are you seriously a, doing this, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> I don't- if he's really telling the truth, then it would- maybe it's like he's watching it in the wrong spot. From where he's sitting, then it looks like He was actually like looking one. at his window reflection. Yeah, like it could be. He's like, oh. When will my reflection show? Yeah, basically. No, maybe he's like, maybe he doesn't want to look like he's completely checking out the girl, so he's like looking at her in the reflection <laughs> and then sees the guy drink the coffee cup with him. That's actually brilliant. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's that dead young hot bottom, you, you spiky haired Yahoo, who are at fault. Who, me? Thank you, old man. We've heard quite enough from you already. Don't call me old man, old man! Been around for 68 years, I have. You can't ignore me! Listen to what I've got to say! Okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but... Sure, why not hear a little more? Come on, Godot! Mr. Godot! But this is my 16th cup of coffee. So this is your final stand. Thank you, Captain! You can rely on Victor! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Read this testimony. Guy? Left hand or right hand? <laughs> Which one is it? One or two? <laughs> the boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side of the green lens of his specs. Okay, so left side. Okay. He kept fiddling with it all the time. He was fiddling with it just before he picked up the cup, too. And then he used the same hand to pick up the cup. His left hand. Um... That wouldn't be... We know that the victim was wearing an unusual monocle over his left eye. It wasn't a monocle, your honor. It was a small computer monitor often used by programmers. Not by me, no. Oh. A monitor? You mean like a television screen? The inside of the lens is a screen that displays realized, computer this data. This is literally like the, what is it, the Google glasses? <laughs> that failed. <laughs> that failed, where it's like, Google glass. yo, yeah, the Google glass, that's what it is. Where it's like, hey, Siri, can you, where, where's Subway sandwiches? And it's like, pfft. Most of us have like iPhones this kind of thing now or ah. dual monitors <laughs> yeah exactly it's called an hmd it's a common tool in the victim's line of work hd tv <laughs> dvd oh, cd all these new fangled letters drive me mad but they don't matter oh man i can't believe he watches hd tv oh i meant I hd tv <laughs> oh it's hg i was like hd i was like High man i bet television. you Kudo watches Fixer Upper all the time. Kudo <laughs> watches like all of those shows. What What are the ones where it's no? It's not Fixer Upper. F flip it houses or oh, something. Flip it or flip it. Flip it or sell it. Sell it. Flip it or trash it. 
No, that's no way. Flip that's it that's Dominion. It. Flip it or I all flipped like the f- Flip it or uh, sip it. Uh, that's sip not no. That's earnings. a Food Network show. Oh, that's a problem. That would be a Food Network show. I know what I saw, and I'm telling the truth. It's true. He doesn't seem to be lying. And those are the facts in good old black and white. Left hand or right hand? <laughs> okay. He was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green light because of his specs. So the victim was wearing an HMD. HDTV, CD, DVD, what does it matter? It was none of them, actually, but anyway. And you're sure that he was wearing the earpiece on the same side? No question! I could only see that side of his head from where I was sitting. So basically, he looks like a cyborg from where he's sitting, because mm. it's just the left side. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty obvious if you look at the floor plans. From the opposite table, he'd only have a view of the side of the victim's head. He kept fiddling with it all the time. It seems you kept an eye on Mr. Glen Elg. He was getting on my nerves! Rustling that newspaper and fiddling with his earpiece all the time! And then he just went and made all the fuss dying from one sip of Javachino. I wanted to say to him, Calm down, you young brat! Just looking at him made me suddenly speed up my seed eating. I could have choked! So I take it the victim was a walking ball of nervous energy. He was fiddling with it just before he picked up the cup too. The earpiece you mentioned, which hand did the victim touch it with? You're one of those people! One of those people who uses his left hand to get Fane's out of his right pocket. Or fastens his left cuff with his right hand. And when the tour guide says, on your right side, you'll see the famous blah blah, you're the only one who deliberately looks left! Well, aren't you? Th no! I didn't mean- I thought he was gonna be like- great, great. <laughs> Obviously he used the hand on the same side of his body that the earpiece was in! Okay. Ow! 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 <laughs> so if he had the HMD on his left side, then it was his left hand, I guess. I'm kind of guilty of doing my left hand for fiends, even when it's like, your right hand's closer. I'm like, yeah, but what? left hand left is better. Hand. Yeah. yeah. There are times I wish I was right-handed for writing. Sure. Other than that, though, I'm like, yeah, there, whatever. There are some weird things where, uh, because, because we have a, a left-handed mother, I learned how to eat food with my left hand and, like, do certain things with my left hand, like, pour, like, mm -hmm. pouring wa like, water or whatever, or, like, doing... Uh, cutting things with scissors. So, whenever I talk to my friends or they see me eat, they're like, Oh, you're left-handed. What? And I'm like, nope, I'm not. I'm just weird. I eat with my left hand, too. Like, you know how, like, you cut the steak, like, European style or whatever? Haven't you heard of that? Most people will switch their hands so the right hand ha holds the steak and then they cut with the left hand. I cut my steak with my left hand with the knife and then I use my left hand with the fork. So, so you, swap. you swap. So for me, I'll just be like, left hand has the fork, right hand cuts, and the left hand has the fork and eats as That's well. That's more efficient. It is more efficient. Imagine how much more fast I could eat if I didn't have to- You should just do that. <laughs> nah, otherwise I'd be like, well I'm done, nobody else is eating. Like, <laughs> That's true, through. you already <laughs> eat food so fast. I do savor it though. I, yeah. <laughs> to quote Ron Swanson, I don't know why everyone else is so terrible at eating. Eating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> he used the same hand to pick up the cup, the left hand. You seem very sure of yourself, Mr. Kudo. That's because I know what I saw, no matter what tricks you try to play on me! It looks like he really did see the guy picking the cup up with his left hand. Like I said, mirrors. <laughs> this is a dead end! Reflection. Well, Nick, what do you think? I reflect on my reflection. <laughs> and I ask myself the question. I think the guy's telling the truth. But even so, something's not quite right. Maybe he got, like, paid to say this. By, like, <sighs> Mr. Uh, Zeniope. <laughs> by Mr. Zeniope. Then chuck evidence at him until he breaks! But if he's not lying, there <laughs> wouldn't be any contradicts and contradictions in his testimony, right? Yep, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. It's probably that one. This is a tricky one. This, this is going to be a tricky he one. He was fiddling with it the whole time, maybe? I mean, what would that prove? And also, there's no way we have evidence. Uh, what was the first one? 
I mean, we here's the problem. We don't have any evidence to prove that he didn't, I don't think. Maybe. Let's look. Let's look. I'm not sure how This is a tricky one, actually. I Because I, think, I think it's gonna rely on you remembering something. Gosh darn it, it's probably gonna be like the dumb like the ear Oh the ear cream! It's the ear cream. Yeah. It is, yeah. No duh. Now I just remembered. I'm like, oh yeah. I'm not sure what the relevance <laughs> of this is, but... Unless if you're the grossest person in the universe, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kudo, there is something very strange about your observations of the victim. What? You say he was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the HMD. No question! You can lock me up if I'm wrong! It was his left ear without a doubt! Oops! I can only see that side of his head from where I was sitting. I don't think so. What, what did you say? You're no doubt unaware of this fact, Mr. Kudo, but the victim couldn't hear with his left ear. His eardrum was ruptured. Oh, so eh? actually it was that, not only that, but the ear cream. Traces of medication for his condition were found in his ear canal. That's right, it's impossible that the victim was wearing his earpiece in his <laughs> unless, left ear. Unless my previous <laughs> idea of him just like, oh yeah, I won the lottery! <laughs> like, <laughs> because he couldn't even hear in that ear. Is that true, Captain? It is. P P pigeon! <laughs> Pretty pigeon! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the pigeon song. Order! 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 This witness's testimony is completely unreliable. He only saw the waitress from behind. And he claims the victim was wearing an earpiece when we know his eardrum was ruptured. Well, Mr. Godot? Uh, a single drop of milk is all it takes to destroy the pure black magic in a cup. This old man is my drop of milk. Captain! Are you calling me a drip?! <laughs> <laughs> This is the victim's coffee cup in which the potassium cyanide was found. The mark on the rim clearly shows the victim picked it up with his right hand. I'll never back down! I know I'm right! The Latin drank his javachino with his right left hand! Let me put you out of your misery. Clearly the victim used both hands. He took a sip with the cup held in his right hand and then switched to his left. That's what the old man saw. No, because he died instantaneously. So, we Impossible! Heard. The witness has already testified on numerous occasions that the victim died immediately after taking just one sip of the coffee. Objection. Which hand the victim used to pick up his cup is irrelevant, your honor. The facts still stand. With one hand or the other, Mr. Elg drank the poisoned coffee. Like this! Sadly, Mr. Godot, that doesn't wash. The point of this testimony was to establish whether the witness's memory was credible. And the results are clear. The testimony given by this witness is useless. Yeah. So we did this for nothing. <laughs> Basically. I believe it is time to conclude today's proceedings. <gasps> I'm satisfied that the witness is not deceiving the court. But to be frank, his testimony is a farce. D did you have to be so frank? Take that, you pompous old fogey! I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo. You can't reach me from there. Wow. I'm ordering the defense and the prosecution to investigate this case Ooh, further. we're going back! That is all for now. This court is adjourned. We're probably gonna find out something terrible. Oh. Hold it indeed. Who? WAIT! Oh, if we stop now, where does that leave me? Leave you, Mr. Kudo? Thanks to that blue-suited young upstart over there, I'm just a bubbling old man who can't even dot his T's or cross his eyes now! How is your bad memory my fault? I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but there's nothing I can do. I've kept my mouth shut until now. But there's something else the court should know. Really? What? There's more? To be perfectly honest, it might not be anything. But I want another chance! I want another crack at you, you young shark! Okay, if it's something... M me He's looking at me like I'm some sort of evil shogun. Watch, this will be the one thing that it's like, Oh, I saw the... the I don't even know. <laughs> but like, it'll be like, I saw this! It's probably irrelevant, but... I cost saw mommy kissing Santa Claus! No, but I saw the gal had a huge nose! It's like, well, that's definitely not Maggie Bird! <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, what do you say to one final showdown? The final Chainsaw chapter in this eccentric dad. old man's scrapbook! Scrapbook? 
Sorry, Gramps. I've already had my 17th cup of coffee. Well, guess what? What have you got to lose, Captain? I'll give you all the coffee you want if you come to my house after the trial. I may be 68 years old, but Victor Kudo is still a man. He likes coffee. <laughs> now that, see, that's that's very tempting for Kudo. He's on all you can drink free coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That's enough, witness. I believe it will be quicker for the court to just hear your testimony. You bet! Much, much quicker! <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Ha ha ha! You better get ready, youngster! I get the picture! Just quit throwing those seeds at me, would you? He's gotta be using some sort of infinite ammo code with that box of seeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The <laughs> final showdown. <laughs> Oh my gosh. First of all, I want to stress that this might be nothing. I'm not too sure of myself. Fine. The young boy slumped over in the table as soon as he took one sip of his Javachino. Okay. While the clumsy idiot upset the vase, he knocked it right over. Huh. It broke and the strip of cloths covering the table got completely soaked. Well, how about that? Turn things upside down, hmm? Might, actually. I need to see- let me look at the court record immediately. <laughs> okay. I need to see that picture of him slumped over. <laughs> Oh, look! He's perfectly <laughs> upright! <laughs> well, this guy is a doofus. Um, is that all? Yes, that's all! I remember it perfectly! Hey, you're doubting me again? You're doubting a poor defenseless old man! Can we just go No, now? we're not doubting you, Mr. Kudo. Don't you get the feeling there's a question hanging on everyone's lips, Nick? Yeah, so what? Probably. That's all I can think of, and I have to cross-examine this guy. You're a bird brain! That's why that's all you can think of! <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. Your final cross-examination, please. The only thing that would make this better... Th this... <laughs> this would be what I would do if the restaurant was bigger and there's tables between. I would say that, like, the table that, like, had all this stuff happen where it's like, Oh, this hand picked up this and this vase broke. It's like, it's the table closest to him and he just has the worst depth perception of his life. <laughs> and so the guy, it looks like the guy, like, slumped over, broke the vase, but in reality, like, the vase on the other table broke. That or still something. doesn't explain how he's like, it was the left hand! I know! I I'm know, right. I know. But it would be... <sighs> well, this doesn't matter anyway, because we already figured out what happened! <laughs> yeah, but I still want to press everything. <sighs> okay. Um, the court generally prefers if witnesses are sure of themselves, Mr. Kudo. No, he's a brat! I'm warning you, I'm more savage than a macho man right now! You won't beat me with this testimony! This is the final battle! Ow! Ow! He's chucking those seeds harder than ever! I better be careful. Come on, Nick! Nail him! I'd rather not. <laughs> the young boy slumped over... <laughs> the young boy nailed him as soon as he <laughs> slumped over the child. <laughs> <laughs> the court has already heard that testimony, Mr. Kudo. I know that! I was just setting the mood! How else am I supposed to build up the suspense, hmm? The suspense? That's so weird. Isn't it enough? Should I work the audience a bit more? No, no! Please continue, Mr. Kudo, as quickly as possible. Alright, now where was I? Ah, yes, the young boy slumped over the table, and... Well, the clumsy idiot upset the vase! This could be nothing. A vase, you say? Yes, there are vases on all the tables in that place. There are accidents waiting to happen! They're practically begging to be knocked over! Well, he's right about there being vases. I do remember seeing them, too. There was a vase on the table when I ate lunch there. And you saw the moment when the victim was actually knocked over the vase? Well, it's hard to say. It's a bit unclear. How do you really define... Okay, I get it. I heard it break! And the sight of it is burned into my memory as clear as day! It broke, and the strip of cloths covering the table got completely soaked. Soaked in water, you mean? Yes, it splashed me on the knee as well. You said you were sitting at a table across the room from the victim, correct? And yet the water still managed to splash onto you? It was cold! I clearly remember it splashing me! Maybe this is all happening at his table. <laughs> Could the water really make it all the way across to the other side that of the room? That would be like if he shoved into the vase and it was like... <laughs> <laughs> That's like the equivalent of someone spilling their alcohol drink and it will land on me. Yeah. <laughs> Turned feet upside down, huh? That was funny. <laughs> and terrible. But funny. <laughs> I just gave Marty the stink guy when she <laughs> says that. You mean the vase on the victim's table falling upside down and breaking? 
The vase turned upside down, and my testimony's turning the case upside down! No, it's, not. it's a joke! I just wanted everyone to hear it. What do you think, Captain? I'm impressed. What? By your ability to oh, waste yeah, okay. time. <laughs> Godot hasn't raised any objections for a while now. So, you yun show off! With that scrap of information, I'm throwing down the gauntlet! If I lose this one, I'll take it like a man and admit defeat! Cool. He's really giving you the evil eye, Maya. It's you he's looking at, Nick, not me! It's like he's saying, I triple dog dare you to find a contradiction, youngin! I guess I'll just have to rise to the challenge then. Go for it. I triple dog <laughs> dare you. Okay, yep, yeah, you found that one immediately. I was like, I remember this in the photo. Mr. Kudo, this is a photograph of the crime scene. <laughs> so what? Look carefully at the table. The vase is there. Intact. Huh? Lost your tongue, Granddad? Ooh, what if this was- I'm no granddad of yours, Hopscotch! Ow! Ow! Whoa, what if this was like the biggest plot twist in the universe where it's like they reset up the scene, took pictures, and really the old man saw everything perfectly, and then it was just like, oh, this thing happened, but oh look at this, we took a picture of him slumped over with the perfect vase. <laughs> Enough! If you throw any more seeds in this courtroom, the cleaners will be here all night. Ah! What is it now? I just remembered something! Yes, go on. The broken vase? <laughs> it was on my table! Yeah. What? Ah, uh, well, uh, you see. It started me when that young lad collapsed, so I stood up. That must have been when it fell over. The vase on my table, I mean. The vase on your table? <laughs> uh, yes, it was on my table. Oh, well, this is really easy. Uh, and that's how my groin came to be completely soaked. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really good, though, because when we go back, we can see which table he was at. Because clearly the chef hasn't cleaned up anything at the no, other table, you're so not there's allowed, two tables left. You're not allowed to clear up tables if there's witnesses there. So he only has two tables in his rest restaurant. Yeah, though. nobody's there anyway. <laughs> it's true. Ah, <sighs> thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for today. Er, uh, I'd like to ask a question now. Have I, er, uh, have I been any use at all? No. Perhaps that's something you should reflect on yourself, Mr. Kudo. Nah! Wait, wait a minute! If that's the case, there's more! I've got more to say! Oh yes, I remember something else. We're done. Bailiff, escort the witness out of the courtroom. Wait, listen to me! So much for admitting defeat like a man. No. <laughs> well, we seem to have considerably been sidetracked, and I am still not in a position to deliver a verdict. Cool. The defendant has not been positively identified as the waitress in question. Additionally, there are two disparities in the testimony that we've heard thus far. The mark on the coffee cup that the victim supposedly drank from with his left hand, and the earpiece which was inserted into his left ear out of which he couldn't hear. Wow, Nick! You did it! I therefore require both the defense and the prosecution to further investigate the facts. Great. Yes, Your Honor. Cool, Your Honor. He's just like, I should not have called that witness. That nope. was the worst. <laughs> but at least I got free coffee out of the deal. Yeah. <laughs> There's one more thing before I call today's session to an end. One more thing, Your Honor! The witness we just heard from, he's the most insistent that his testimony should be of use. So he summarized it accordingly into this statement. Um, okay. You may each have a copy of it if you wish. Whatever. The prosecution doesn't need props like that. Oh, maybe that'll be what helps us win later. Godot's really mad, huh? Yeah, I would be too. Very well. Here are you are then, Mr. Wright. There are three copies. My own, yours, and Mr. Godot's. Yes, Your Honor. Victor's testimony added to the court record. I wish you got this three times. That would, that would be, so be great. I'm sorry? This isn't a piece of testimony, more like a five-year-old apology. <laughs> Victor's testimony, when the incident occurred, I broke the vase at my seat. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's the case, though, that might help. What the heck are we supposed to do with three copies? Hand them out. <laughs> that's all. People. The court is adjourned. <laughs> when you need to make apology letters for people, just be like, I broke the vase on myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
So that's it for this episode of We're Phoenix saving. Wright Trials and Tribulations. My voice is not as bad as I thought it was going yeah, to be at the end. Yeah, yeah. But I definitely bad. noticed the strain a little bit. So we're going to stop recording here. Thanks Sounds for watching, good. everyone. Oh, boy, my voice is going to get wrecked in the investigation period. Because <laughs> Zinniope will probably be coming Maybe back. I'll help. Just for fun. You can't. For fun. You can't. That's like that's like Donkey Kong mixed with <laughs> mixed with Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is Donkey Kong. <laughs> Rocky Roll. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that. Have a great day and God bless everyone.